welcome back. If you are new to my channel, I am Kathy and I do food and product reviews. And today I have the Bad Boy Bacon Maker. Perfect bacon in minutes in the microwave. And I know what you're thinking, there are so many different gadgets out there to make bacon in the microwave. How is this one any different? That's what I wanted to know. I saw an ad for it on Instagram. So apparently I must have been talking about bacon. My phone heard me and said, like, oh, she needs this in her life. So, so here it is. It is made of a high quality food grade silicone. Looks interesting, right? Here it is. Like an accordion. It's like an accordion. The bacon goes in here, close it up, strap it closed, and then you put it in the microwave. You're supposed to get perfect bacon. So I'm gonna try this compared to just putting bacon on um, paper towels and putting it in the microwave. So yes, I saw the ad on Instagram and I could have gone and bought it through their website, but I, like I've said before, I don't like buying things off uh, Instagram ads because I've been burned a couple times. Uh, I, I think this one was legit if you just go to their website. Uh, it was $14.99 on their website, but you had to pay $7.95 shipping. But if you go to Amazon, it's $19.99 with Prime um, and free returns. So you do have returns with the if you buy it from their website too. But as with Amazon, if a product doesn't have free returns, I don't buy it. So, All right, so hopefully this isn't one I'll have to return, but, but we'll see. So let's get started. Open it up. They can have six slots. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. So they recommend with your first attempt to fully load it with six pieces and cook for five minutes, and then you let set in the microwave for one to two minutes as ba bacon will continue to brown after microwave turns off. If you prefer crispier, cook an additional two minutes. I do not prefer crispier bacon, so we'll see. In six pieces of bacon. This is a little, little longer. And then I'm also going to bake uh, microwave six pieces of this, or I don't know, five pieces, whatever I can get. Oops, I forgot one. That one. But yeah, I'm going to put uh, do the same thing for the microwave just on paper plate, or on paper towels, really. All right. It's loaded. It's like an accordion. Okay. Now I'll push this one down in there. My hands are all nasty. And just wrap this around like that. It's funny, it's because, you know, part of me thought, oh, okay, this would be good. You won't have to use as many paper towels, and you may not, but you still have to put it on a microwave-safe plate with paper towels because all the grease is going to, you know, run out and collect on the paper towel. All right, so six slices, microwave for five minutes. Now I'm gonna let it set for two minutes. All right, let's see. Let's see how it looks. I'm a little nervous. Well, I don't like crispy bacon, so let's see. for me, okay. I'm trying to see how they like the outside bake. Here, they're about the same. So, but even for me, um, like I said, I don't like it crispy, crispy. So, I still like it a little doneer than this. So, gosh, I don't know if I can put it back in now. Jeez, what do I do? What do I do? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna, I'll have to take a bite. No, oh, I like it a little bit doneer. So oh, I'm gonna put it in for another, ow, son of a, oh, I thought I broke it. Shoo, I'll take that back. I think it was just really greasy. It was really greasy there and it slid right on. Okay, 
So I'm gonna toss this and put another piece on and I'm gonna go a minute and a half, I think. All right, put another piece, a minute and a half, and let it sit for a minute, I guess. All right. All right, so I cooked it for another minute and a half and let it sit for a minute. So let's see what we got now. This is, yes, I know it's bacon, but this is really greasy. All right, it's, ooh, it's popping. Pop, oh. All right, so this definitely looks crispier. I didn't mention, but I did wash this just in soap and water before I used it. Um, but it is also dishwasher safe, so. All right, let's see. Let's see how it did now. So I open it up. Just flip it out. Well, not, maybe a little crispier than I like, but not bad. Not bad, but is it really any better than just putting it on a paper towel and microwaving it? Let's find out. All right. Clearly I don't make bacon in the microwave enough because this was five minutes. Five minutes looks per. So actually, you know what? Hmm. Ow, that is hot. All right, so here, this is the bad boy bacon right here. Here's the microwave. All right. I know this turned out pretty crispy. Could have gone a little less time on this one. This one seems to crisp or like seems to break a little easier. This one seems a little more chewier. So I can't tell that big a difference between the two of these. And with this one, the microwave, I can just throw this away. I don't have to clean the bad boy bacon maker. All right, but these are a little crispier than I like, and it does say it takes some playing around with to get your time right. I have four pieces of bacon left. I'm gonna try two in the bad boy bacon maker and two back in the microwave. I'm gonna do it less time and see if that's any better. But as of right now, the bad boy bacon is, I can't justify $20 for a very little difference. So we're gonna try, try it again and see how it does. Right. I think I'm gonna put the two in the middle on the end. Maybe put it on the end. So I just have two pieces. I'm gonna stick them on the end here. And yeah, you smell it, don't you? On the end, I'm gonna go for five and a half. I'm not pretty sure you're less time. Ugh, so confusing now that I only have two. Let's see. So, see, I keep feeling like this has ripped, and let's see. so that's if like if that rips, you're screwed, I guess. All right, let's put it on here. I'm gonna go for four minutes and see what happens. Oops. Okay, I went for three and a half minutes. And let it set for like, I don't know, a minute. So let's see. I just did the two. Okay. So this looks much better to me. I like floppy bacon. All right, so I'm gonna do the same, which is to microwave it up. Two pieces left. I'll put it in for three and a half minutes. And we'll see what happens. All right, so there is major shrinkage, like with any bacon. You can see that. All right, I'll put it in there, uh, what did I say, three and a half minutes. And we'll compare it. All right, so here is microwave for two minutes. I heard it really popping in there, so I stopped it early. So this was at 
two minutes and this was three and a half. So this is interesting too. So this is the bad boy bacon maker. And there. So there is a little more shrinkage on the bad boy, but not much, but these are cooked pretty evenly. Uh, just gonna taste them and see if there's a difference. Cause, cause I think the microwave um, bacon is chewier sometimes. So let's, let's find out. Cause that's what I need is to eat more bacon. All right, we have the bad boy bacon maker and this is just the microwave. Let's tell the difference at all. Uh, to me, there's not a whole lot of difference. Like I said, there was less shrinkage with just the microwave, but let's give it a try. Bad boy. All right, let's try just the microwave. I don't know. I don't. It, it tastes basically the same to me as um, you know, I was thinking, I don't know if I said this in the beginning or not, but about the paper towels, I was thinking, okay, maybe this will use less paper towels, but you still have to put a paper towel on the plate. Uh, there is a tray, you can buy a silicone tray, but that's an extra $10. And I guess if I eat bacon a lot, um, then yes, I could save on some paper towels if I bought the little tray. I really wanted to like this, I did. I thought it looked cool. I liked supporting, you know, small, entrepreneurs um you know i love the products on shark tank i always want those to work so there's just so many microwave things out there for bacon i don't know i feel bad i feel bad but i don't want you to waste your money either that's why i started the channel i don't want you to waste your money but if it's something that you think you would like um definitely buy it on amazon then you can get free returns if you haven't returned anything on amazon it is so easy so easy to do you can uh, return it at kohl's they have a special drop off for amazon or um, a ups store and you you don't even have to put it in a box you just take it in they'll scan the return and that's it it is so easy so that's always make sure free returns so if you've tried the bad boy bacon maker let me know what you think of it in the comments below or is there another one another microwave bacon maker that you love, uh, let me know uh, what that is in the comments below. And that brings me to the joke of the day. Of course, it's a bacon joke. What do you get when you play tug of war with bacon? Let me know your guess in the comments below and I will post the answer on my social media stories. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed, think about hitting that red subscribe button and the bell for notifications. I appreciate you watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye.